Goedemorgen, goedemiddag, sanbonani. Welcome ladies and gentlemen to today's episode of Bravo Zo, right here on Central Life with the Joseph Barker. Bravo Zo is coming from the word come in three different languages, bra in tree, va in ewe, and zo in hausa. Bravo Zo is a platform for cross-cultural exchange. We have many foreign students here at CU and we like to know their background and experiences here in Ghana. We come from different countries with different points of view, but we consider everyone here to be a pan-Africanist. Bravo Zo is a place where we can experience our African unity. No worries if you've missed our first show with the Nigerian students. You can still listen to them on our Telegram channel, Central Life Radio. On today's episode, which has been titled Sons of Mzanzi. Can I hear? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. (laughs) We're going to take you through the land of South Africa, take you on a journey of the culture, the vibes, experiences, and the journey from down south to up west. I am here today with a handsome gentleman and two stunning ladies, starting with you, Mahaba. What's your full name and what are you studying here in Central? My full name is Marie Mahaba Agbesi, and I am studying a Bachelor's of Architecture. Bachelor, uh, is it Bachelor's of Science? In no, 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 just Bachelor of Architecture. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. five years straight. Pow. <laughs> five years. No break. <laughs> yeah, enjoy no yourself. No, no half time. <laughs> Put on the seat belt, you know. Anyways, that was Mahaba Agbesi. And we have Princela, Princela Enchi. That sounds very, very Ghanaian. Yeah. yeah. Tell yeah, us, tell us. Yeah, Even yeah, more. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Ha- you have to actually go yeah, into that. This is why I was like, yeah, the black sheep back home. <laughs> they know that <laughs> this one is not one of us. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right, yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I'm... I'm a business student. Okay. Yeah. Oh, but what's your full name? Oh, like Prinsla Chum Entry. There's even more than your name. Chum. Chum Entry. Tell me, what's your day name then? My day name is Prinsla. No, your day name. You know how in Ghana they oh, like Kojo. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, oh, um, I think Akosia. 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 Does anyone yeah. know which day that is? I don't Sunday. know. Sunday. Sunday. Mm-hmm. Oh. We, we should be singing. We just wanna <laughs> thank you, Jesus. I don't know. Nah, lame, lame. No, nah. <laughs> I just don't know. I just don't I don't know. <laughs> anyway, and we're here with Miss Lisbeth. Chon Amil. <laughs> Chon Amil. Yeah, very, very, very brave. Uh, Lisbeth Chon Amil. Right. And I'm a Dutch African descent from the Caribbean, and I've spent some time in South Africa. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. Yeah. Mzanzi. That is awesome, actually. But before we continue our conversation, we're going to listen to some major vibes from our man. The late Costa Stitch. May his soul rest in peace. He's dead? Yeah, he did. He, he did. Died, bro. <laughs> no, he Why are you laughing? That is not funny. It's not funny. Oh, I'm just surprised you oh. didn't <laughs> know. No, no, no. Because you're laughing, no. I'm laughing. Okay, no. I'm laughing because you said he's dead. He's like, he's dead? I, how did you not know? The man collapsed on stage, man. Really? Okay, okay right. we'll get we'll get into that later. We'll he get... literally dropped dead. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Boss, bro. <laughs> Boss. No, no, that's not right. Yeah, we, we must be in mourning. Sorry. We must be in mourning. So, um, the late was the stitch. May his soul rest in peace. In eternal peace. Titled Big Flexer. So now let's rotate. Too hot like a heater. My neck down froze like winter. I'm pretty young. Liquor. Shy storm. Picture. MJ on the sheet, thriller, funny vibes every night. Enter, non colorized, coaster, yeah, I can start like fucker. Huh. Pull up in a beam, too much to clean and toddle. I don't foster, serious in daughter, yeah, a big time player, a trip too big in Ghana. I went, flexor, yeah, Tina said gym, yeah, too hot like a heater. My neck down froze like winter I'm pretty young Liquor Yeah Shays told me Picture MJ on the sheet Thriller Funny vibes every night Enter Alright people, welcome back. Now my people, 
who have come back to your country. <laughs> Remember that? Originality, yes. <laughs> where we're originally from. <laughs> from Ghana. <laughs> tell me your story. Um, where? Um, uh, tell me your story. Where in South Africa do you come from? Um, let's start with Mahaba. So I grew up in Johannesburg. I lived. I pretty much lived in Johannesburg. I, I don't want to say the details of no. like where I live, live, live. No, no, don't give me your house number and everything. <laughs> like you can still give me where, where exactly. You okay, live. so so Johannesburg. I stayed around Randburg, Northcliff side. Um, I st- I moved around so Randburg, Brighton, Northcliff. It was close to Santa, not far from Santa. So like an hour's drive to forty-five minutes drive from there. All right. The rich people's place. No, yeah, yeah, so yeah, like, yeah, yeah. So it is. I like, I like to mention, yeah, yeah, I like to is. mention Santon because people think, oh, it's not oh, far from there. But yeah. no, but it is forty-five minutes. You know what? Forty-five to the minutes. Rich people's place. Exactly. Like so Kanye people. <laughs> 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 like, like imagine, imagine coming out of the airport or a tumble, right? And then you pass by Santon or whatever, no. and then you're still driving, and you're like, mom. <laughs> are we not going there? back there <laughs> exactly where we're living. exactly but all our temple is in pretoria so you gotta but pretoria is like the you know the, the yeah. rich rich place but that's the business capital yeah dude you get places named hatfield i was there i was like my goodness it really sounds you please <laughs> <laughs> anyway uh, so princella yes tell us where in south africa do you come from Originally in the Sotos, that little country in See, South Africa. Like I have a problem with that. that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. They just want to be different. They just want to be different. I mean, they're like, no, South Africa, no. We're there. <laughs> yeah. We're, we're going here. Go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, we're on our own. Yeah, so I stayed in Lesotho in Maseru, to be specific. Oh, okay. Yeah, I grew up there my whole life. Wow. Yeah. Like your entire life? My entire life. Since you were a baby? Yep. Oh, you yeah. weren't born in Ghana? No. I was born there. Yeah, we're the same, dude. Y'all are not, you're, you're not coming. No, we, we are, are. We are. By blood. By blood. <laughs> by, by blood. By, by blood. blood. Which blood? My blood. <laughs> yeah, that Anyways. one. That one. <laughs> that one. Right. Anyways, I'm uh, sure there's a blood cell in there that's written Ghanaian on Ghana. it. And Miss Elizabeth, where in South Africa uh, were you? Yes, well, I was in Johannesburg. Um, I did my history thesis. I was about to graduate. I studied history in uh, in Holland, where I was born and grew up. Right. And then I took a chance. I found a way to with Waterschans University. So I did my research oh. there. I had a South African topic. Okay. Uh, I studied the the black identity, the new black identity mm-hmm. of the South Africans. Um, wow. And yeah, so it's uh, so I did my research. There. I was there for three months, and then. A few years, la- a few years later, I came back uh, for a radio conference, and then I saw some of my old friends again, which was very, very nice. That's nice. Yeah, that is nice. Mm. Yeah, I imagine, uh, like, imagine I, I, like leaving and then coming back. Coming back like, home, and then you're oh, like, oh. <laughs> yes, and the nice thing was that uh, the my professor then. So I had a professor in Holland, and I had a professor at Wiesbadenschrand in um, mm. in Johannesburg. Mm. He was then just a media professor. And then when I came back 11 years later, he now um, was the deputy vice chancellor of the whole university. And now he's even climbed higher. Now he is the principal of University of Pretoria. Oh! Yes, exactly. (laughs) Show me the dollars. And he still (laughs) Wow. So we st- so I still we still have contact with each other. He, he wins awards and mm. he's on television. You know, I mean, he's he's doing really well. Right. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I want to yeah. ask, how was your experience in Vitz? Um, because Vitz ha- has a lot of um, prestige. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of prestige, but then they have a lot of um, strikes. That's what I heard mm. about. Yes. Yeah. Well, I was there in 2005, so that oh, was okay. before okay. the strikes. Yeah, yeah. How old were you? I was. Born. We were like born. <laughs> We were born. <laughs> but I've heard about the strikes mm. and the radio station played a very vital role, role that the radio station on campus played a very vital role also to keeping the 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 yeah the, the, the balance. Ca- yeah p- keeping people uh More calm. keeping them calm uh, you know in, uh, yeah decreasing the 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 tension, tension and mm-hmm. things like that so I, I found I the the uh, schools the schools must fall sp- fees must fall oh fees okay, must fall yes, campaign yes, yes, yes. I found it very interesting to hear about that because of the role that radio station had to play there right. yeah, yeah. Yes. 
That's yes. beautiful. Something is happening similar like that in my one friend. He's going to the University of Cape Town, right? And they were like rioting, like they were breaking glasses, and they were like, "How like long fees must this? fall." Like, pardon? Like uh, fees not, must fall? Not fees must fall, but they're saying something about people aren't able to register or something like that. Oh, and this is like I spoke to him like a month ago, two months ago. Right. Wow. That's that's uh, okay. Anyways, so how long have you been in Ghana? Um, I arrived on the first of September, twenty twenty one. Why do you say that with so much? Dun 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 That was after the lockdown. That's yeah, interesting. Yeah, that's, that's just though. right after. After. Mm-hmm. I don't. Mm, I. Mm. <laughs> lockdown we we lock- got so i think we got back to school in, in june 2020 so mm. then it's just a year right yeah yeah but yeah. you're a lockdown traveler no no it wasn't lockdown wasn't lockdown after <laughs> it was after, it was after. So yeah, i didn't bring covid i didn't bring covid guys side uh, <laughs> bombastic side bombastic yeah, side yeah, we're not sure yeah. Oh. For me, um, May is gonna be three months of me being here. Welcome to three. Ghana. Fresh, hot fresh, fresh, you fresh like meat. Out of the oven, you like when you touch the biscuits and they're still hot. Yeah, 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 yeah. Still gotta hot. wait. <laughs> you know, I, I wish I had the the, the whole console here where yeah. you, you you press something. The sound. Like, <laughs> 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, so, oh, uh, Miss Elizabeth, mm-hmm. how long have you been in Ghana? Uh, getting to nine years. This, actually, yeah, yeah. This month, nine <laughs> years. <laughs> nine years. Yes. Whoa. Wow. Yeah, it went very, very fast. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's it's like it does. It does. It, does. it is going. It fast. goes like this. Mm. For me, it's like I was no. Oh no! It'll be in August. That'll be two years. Wow. I, I think I I just lost track of time. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I y'all are saying it's going fast, but I'm like. It's going slow. I think <laughs> you're in the moment. <laughs> <laughs> you have to be in the moment. But what about yourself? Did you uh, did you tell our listeners also, you know, how long you have been here and oh. what you study and Oh yeah. How Hello long in South Africa. <laughs> let, let me let me do this in a nice way. Hi ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> no. Anyways, um I I I I am Joseph Barker. I've been in Ghana for the past or five years I came in 2019 that makes it how many years now four four years four years yes four. your math is bad <laughs> four it's four. four four years so um, back in South Africa I lived in um, Durban I was a KZN boy hmm. lived in Yellowwood Park Y'all don't know Yellowwood Park. Yeah, but it sounds, you know, like Yellow. Yellowwood <laughs> Park. <laughs> People, they're like, wow. wow. It's like Santon of Durban, I think. Mm-hmm. No, it's it's closed. It's like an estate, yeah. sort of. So if Santa was an estate, that yeah. would be a little park. I, I think I remember the monkeys come to steal my bananas. And Definitely <laughs> Santa. I, <laughs> wait, 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 are we being Monkeys serious? where? <laughs> monkeys, are you, telling where? Me, are you asking me monkeys where? Where? <laughs> no, like you, you, wait, wait, hold on. You put your, your, your bowl of bananas or fruits or food oh, by your window and those sneaky little buggers come from the... <laughs> like in your backyard wait okay I, I'm, I'm. I won't lie I did have a peacock in my house one time see no like 100% no joke it was on our roof uh huh uh huh <laughs> see these estate <laughs> these <laughs> estate people <laughs> no no, 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 no. My, mine was just a house it was just a house like mine just was a house it just man okay yo yo if, if an well, American was this bits, pardon the, the beds that go ah Oh. In the morning, oh, the hardy does. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Wait, you also didn't see that. No, that is what happens when you have a country within a country. Yeah, ah, yeah. Like, <laughs> even the birds know. Even the birds are like, ah, so nah. suits you guys. You have to go around. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, and I am studying BSc in physician assistantship here in Central. So I want to be a doctor, mm-hmm. and then cut people's brains open. Neurology. <laughs> <laughs> Eventually, so I'm studying um, BSc in physician assistantship. I want to be a doctor. Yeah, a neurosurgeon to be precise. I have a long way to go, mm-hmm. but in God we trust. Amen. We trust. Anyway, so uh, let me know why did you and you and 
No, wait. You and you choose to study in Ghana, and why did you decide to come to Ghana? We start with Miss Elizabeth this time. Oh, okay. Uh, because of my, my West African roots, my unidentified West African roots, uh, mm. my parents come from Suriname, and then they moved to Holland, and then that's where uh, all of their children were born and raised. And, you know, once you come from Suriname, you know you are you have African blood. So I have a lot of African blood, African blood, as well as Asian blood, European blood, and uh, American blood. Oh. Wow. So... Um, but the, at this moment, the African ancestors are calling louder than the Asian. <laughs> 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 they come back home. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. And and we we did a, My mother did a DNA test this year, and then we indeed have a lot of Nigerian, Sierra Leonean, Togolese. Ooh. Yeah, really, we but really a mixture of. In yeah, a lot of. Yeah. That's yeah. A, that's a cocktail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. Wow. A very spicy one. Very. Yeah. Mm. Right. You're a bit of everywhere. <laughs> You're like in the game when you're making your character, you add every everything. everything. In there. <laughs> Reference game. Yeah, of so Thrones. I call myself the Ubermensch. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds German. No, no, yeah, that is German. That is German. Okay. No, I'm not the Ubermensch. That's from the that's that's from the Second World War. That's the that's ah, part of the oh. yeah the rhetoric that uh, the Nazis use. <laughs> No, no, I call myself a global citizen. I consider yeah, myself okay. a global oh, citizen. Okay. We had your phrase. concert in Ghana last year. It was so beautiful. <laughs> you call <laughs> yourself a global citizen. Last year was like the global citizen. I watched show, yes. In Ghana. Uh, that, oh, okay. Our show was there. Yeah, yeah. That show yeah, was yeah, anger. Yeah, 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 it's true. Anyways, yeah. But you did say something about Suriname. Mm. I have no idea what I that is. Yeah, yeah sorry. Suriname. Yeah, so... <laughs> So that's that's how it feels like, you know, when you go to a foreign country and the people don't know your background, they yeah. have no idea what it is that you're talking exactly. about. <laughs> and I know how that feels like. Um, so Suriname is a small country in the Caribbean next oh. to French and British Guyana, next to neighboring country Brazil. Okay. And Suriname was founded by the Dutchmen. So uh, when they got hold of that place, they, you know, they shipped a lot of Africans towards that place. And uh, transatlantic. Mm. Yes, slavery. exactly. And when the slavery was abolished, they took some very cheap uh, labors from Asia, so that's why we are all a blend of oh. yeah Ooh. of those different yeah migration processes that took place. So you would say your period. ancestors are part Asian in a way. So like yeah. the, the slaves as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my ancestors, my African ancestors were slaves, and then uh, we're now finding out. You know, my for for instance, my great grandmother. Mm. If you see a picture of her, she really looks like an African woman. Mm very dark um, a herbalist and she was a washing she used to wash clothes for a Chinese man and then one day the Chinese man slept with her I don't know if it was a mutual agreement or not no it wasn't <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't, <laughs> it wasn't. No, no, no. she was 16 and oh was no it's yeah. 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 a no it's a hundred percent no <laughs> this, yeah so the Chinese man she had a twin a boy and a girl from this particular man and then the Chinese man took the boy and left and, go and went back to China and we never heard from him again. So these are some of the stories that we have a lot uh, in Suriname, in a place such as Suriname, wow. where, you know, you don't know exactly who your father is and, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, and the, the, the complexity of the family, you can have a multiple backgrounds, uh, you know. So, uh, yeah. That is... I don't know. You can write a, like a book, yeah. autobiography. Yeah, sure, sure, sure. <laughs> I, I am I, actually. I do. I am okay. writing a book I'm about my family. Get that yeah, we book. need a Netflix show afterwards because the way it is, the that detail. Ah, <laughs> man. Ah, man. a belief, man. <laughs> but the way I see it, we are all a mixture, a blend of different backgrounds. Yes. And some just have more Africans, African blood in them than others. You get it. Mm, right. But you all, nobody is purely South African. Yeah. It doesn't even exist. I don't um, think it does. I, I'm not even, I don't have a South African in me. I was just there. Like. <laughs> <laughs> How can you say you don't have South African? Either? No, I'm saying like blood. I mean like biological South African thing. All oh right, right, I, right. Even as during high school, I would completely tell them. I was like, "Look, guys, I'm, I'm not from here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not one of you. I'm not part of you. I'm Ghanaian. Like I come from up there in West Africa, <laughs> the hot place. <laughs> you know, 
Oh, yeah. We'll get, we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll get to that. May I say one more thing? Yeah. Um, and now I've lost it. Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, the interesting part is also when we did the DNA test, we found out that we don't have any Dutch blood. Oh, my yes. days. <laughs> so the European blood is ca- actually coming from, is, is Irish and, and Welsh and uh, is, from the, is coming from the UK and I think even Scottish. So we don't even have Dutch blood. So that also tells you something about, you know, our family history. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I want to no, do I mean, DNA I mean, test. I, I, feel like I really I, want to. Exactly. Yeah. It tells a lot. I'm yeah. going to be part Russian. Like. <laughs> <laughs> Putin's son. Putin. <laughs> Your <Papa>. son. <laughs> I, I think I'll, I'll, I'll be um, British royalty. Oh. I feel like I could be British royalty. You just have. Why are you, why are you looking up I'm in the sky? I'm trying to think where I would. <laughs> come from. Yeah, we're all trying to I'm think. Like, like, where, where, where? Shaka Zulu where? probably is one of our fathers. <laughs> <laughs> how did the woman do it? <laughs> I don't even know how to do that. Even in South Africa, people in the crowd, the like, <laughs> people are like, the people go. Oh, I'm, I'm there, and I'm like, and I'm like okay, yeah. you go. And I try the whistle, and I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> And then people, when they put the w- like their hands in their mouth, and they go pew pew. I'm like, no, bro. Nah, I'm just there. I'm like, whew, whew, whew. <laughs> <laughs> Priscilla, your turn. Sorry. Why did you choose to study in Ghana? <laughs> well, for me, like Miss Elizabeth, it was mostly wanting to learn more about my roots and right. coming here and learning about being part Guinean as well because I've spent my whole life in Lesotho so it was really like a no-brainer coming here right. it was like one of my I really want to come here really want to yeah. come here now I'm here I'm like dang it's hot be careful what you wish for exactly. <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. but I'm loving it so far the first yeah. year is always very very hard if you mm. get through the first year then you, you can go. Am I right? Yes. I, yeah. I, I remember coming here and yes, as she said, it's very hot. It's very hot. Goodness. It's like it grabs you. Yeah. Like, it like embraces home, you. It, it, like it touches your skin. <laughs> it's like, ah. We'll be together back. forever. Yeah. Exactly. And yeah, apart from that, like just trying to adjust and adapt into the new environment and everything. Yeah. Could be something. So, um, yeah. Mahaba, Me. why are you studying here? Well, so... Wait, <laughs> what? There are a lot of very good architecture schools in South Africa. Why do you choose Central? Why do you choose here? Oh yeah, yeah, hundred percent. So my mom says this one thing. Oh, and my mom is like a very whatever she says goes. Right. In my family, and it's that if you are li- a foreigner living in a foreign land, you know, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you have to come back to where you come from. Right. Do you mm-hmm. understand? And I think Mrs. Elizabeth would agree with that because you miss. miss Liz Beth. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Would agree with that because you went through all of that to find basically where your roots were from. Because mm-hmm. you need to connect with yourself on that personal level, like grow up with the people, um, learn the culture and all those things. So right. that was actually kind of the reason. You know, I actually don't mind where education comes from. Mm. Um, I'm a firm believer in Well, yes, in that you can do anything you set your mind to achieve in God as well. Right. So yeah, I'm a firm believer in it doesn't matter where I am, I can make it. Okay. Uh right. Right. That 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 that's actually It's deep, huh? Yeah. It's yeah. Deep. <laughs> I, I'm like you can see in thinking. <laughs> processing. <it. laughs> then you have the buffering thing happening in my brain. Anyways, um so let me know, what was the first thing that stunned you when you came to Ghana? Like coming out of the airplane what was the first thing that stunned you i'm gonna say the heat i won't lie because it literally <laughs> smacked me in the face <laughs> but then yeah like yeah you're back home <laughs> but, but you got it nice you you came through terminal three yeah but still it was hard how it was, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. was it when you walked out yeah of well, we were walking like through it's the bridge it was the bridge yeah that bridge was like that tunnel thing oh, no. it's, it was hard. Still it's hard and oh i was wearing God. a jacket Oh, uh, I prepared. I'm <laughs> prepared. prepared. Wait, you, yeah, you've been in Ghana before. Though. Yeah, yeah, I came before. So actually, the last time I came was before this airport. Um, okay, it was like Terminal Three before. Yeah, Terminal so 3. when I came this time, I was like, like 
there's no way. <laughs> right. Yeah, of course the heat the heat stunned me. The heat is what I expected. Right. Second thing was the whole airport. I was like, okay, bougie now. Bougie. Right, Ghana. <laughs> I've upgraded. Yeah. yeah, so that was it. I was I was really shocked and really actually proud actually. I was like, wow Ghana, you've, you've done well. Yeah. Yeah. Miss Elizabeth. Uh so what stunned me? Yeah, the the scent. I love the <gasps> tropical scent. Yes. It's different. That as well. That as well. Oh, it's different. There's a tropical scent. There's a different. Yeah. I don't know. It's just like different. There's, there's a smell. There's a smell. And the and the beauty of it is that it's the same scent as in Suriname, when oh. you reach the Caribbean and you uh, you get out of the airplane. <sighs> it's the same tropical scent. Man, wow. yes. So wow. for me, it was very like, oh, I'm home. That right. that kind of feeling, you get it. Yeah, mm. I do. And to also coming from a very cold country, you know, uh, I come from Western Europe. I mean, I never liked th- those seasons. I never liked the winter. I always had cold feet, even in the summer. So I actually loved the heat. I, I was like, oh. Right. So I, I I still love it every day again. I'm enjoying you know the the weather of uh, the tropical <laughs> weather. Yeah, we should be thankful. <laughs> 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 that, that's I actually liked winter. I d- I did Wait, too. Winter was my favorite month. Like, it's yeah. my favorite season <laughs> because you're like jacket, <laughs> socks, <laughs> hat, <laughs> everything. Like you're like yeah, Blankets, exactly. Heater, the heater. The heater, bro. So the heater. You yourself. But yeah. it's okay. And then like the snow, the like ah, oh, okay. snow. Okay. You, got, you got snow. Yeah, that's all you. <laughs> you got. There snow. was only one time in 2012 where it snowed, snowed in snow, South snow. Africa. I don't even know if it was. It was just flakes falling from the sky. <laughs> <laughs> but then you could see everybody. I was in primary school. Everybody was running outside, doing their tongue in the sky. Ah. Oh, <laughs> snow, <laughs> sugar, sugar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think the only other place apart from Lesotho was Bloemfontein. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, that I'm not sure. it's close Blue by. Fontaine. That's why. Oh, yeah, right. it's very close. Like I had a like a brother, someone mm-hmm. like a brother to me, mm-hmm. come from Bloemfontein, and he would tell me so many crazy stories about the place, how mountainous the area was. It is and one of the things that shocked me as well when I got to Ghana. I got off and I'm like, where are the mountains? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I still get shocked even now. I'm like, I don't see any mountains. There's, you just have to look behind. You. <laughs> Literally look behind. I think it's Abri. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, that side. Yeah. But then the reason why I think because it's called the Accra Plains, yeah, so it's yeah, really yeah. flat. Th- really? Is it is it the from or something? Equipim to go range or something? Yeah, Equipim to go range. Yes, that's that's where the yeah. You don't are. know about it. I don't know. Yeah, read your history now. Yeah, we did geography. <laughs> <laughs> I only know Afisha Pa. No, which, which mountain is that? Afisha Pa is. Yeah, no. America. <laughs> America. <laughs> America. <laughs> America. <laughs> no, there, there's one mountain with the waterfalls next to the waterfalls. Oh. Mm, anyway, I yeah. forgot the name. Something. But I think you do also have, even if you're standing here on the top floor, you have you can see yeah. the, see, yeah. see some of the mountains. It's just not sure. as big yeah. as the one yeah. that yeah. you are used to. Yeah. Yeah. So you see there's a, oh, that's a little hill. Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, that's a that's hill. Nice. Like we see mountains, like Proper. mountains. I, I, th- I think the only other place in Africa that I know has such mountains. Okay, in West Africa, let mm-hmm. me correct West myself. Africa. It's Nigeria. Okay, okay. I've seen some pretty nice videos about yes. Nigerian mountains. But... Have you guys... I don't know if you guys have heard of the Drakensberg in South Africa. Yeah, Drakensberg yes, Mountains. Those yeah. ones are also pretty big. I haven't visited them. But then also, have you guys seen Table Mountain as well? Mm, no, I haven't seen been. it in person. But oh. I've seen In the books, it. in the science books, yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's, like, not, that's what... Like, in its beauty, it's humongous. Mm. Mm. And sometimes they say like when the clouds are over, it's like a tablecloth as well. Wow. wow, that's pretty interesting. Let's Ironic. go have some breakfast. <laughs> 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 yeah. anyway, but are you here by yourself? Yes. You're here by yourself. Yep, I came here all by myself. No, are you here by yourself? Like, are like you here, living here. here? No, I have like extended family and stuff. Oh right, 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 mm-hmm. right. Wow. right. Like, like extended. You mean third cousin? Yeah, cousin. Like aunts, uncles. Grandmas, uncles, and they all know you, or yeah, they like they do. okay. They oh, nice. Her name is Enchi. She's like from here, from here. Like, <laughs> you know, she she's got a con blood in her. A con blood, yeah, yeah, yeah. That name can open doors, you know. Ne- really? Yeah. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, just of course. course. When I came here, I just like, oh, my name is Mahaba Agbesi. And then they're like, are you Ewe? Are you Ewe? <laughs> I'm like, I don't know. You have to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that I, I'm Ewe. Yeah, I'm Ewe, right? But uh, when you mention okay, so so there are some very recognizable names 
in Ghana, like Mensa. Yes. Mm. Okay. Sapong. Sapong. Frimpong. Frimpong. <laughs> Inky. Really? <laughs> yeah. uh-huh. I think if, if, if you have a pong to your name, <laughs> it makes everything easier. <laughs> so pong. I think you should sh- change your name to Agbisik Pong. Agbisik Pong. Inky Pong. Inky Pong. Inky Pong. Just. <laughs> Baka Pong. Just Baka adds pong. a favor. Yeah. A champong. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Whoa. I didn't even think all of, of that. Pong. I mean, all of the pong. All of the pong. But like, uh, <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Mahaba, are you also here? Yes, I came with my family actually. So we all just decided to come. We decided all to come back together as one. It was a nice decision. It was. Yeah. Okay, so like, you 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 took yourself from South Africa. You were like. Hey, yeah. pack your bags. Ooh, let's go. Dora, 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 the explorer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, y'all but it, it was, you know, looking back at it, it's a good decision because South Africa right now, it's I don't yeah. want to say it's the safest or the best place right. to be in. If you're also, especially if you're a foreigner, considering right. the xenophobia as well. Wait, did you actually experience xenophobia? Xenophobia directly, directly, directly or indirectly? Okay, uh, so I didn't. Obviously, I'm sure the xenophobia comes from basically they are able to tell you out as a. As a foreigner, so right. I don't think I looked like a foreigner at the back in there. I've I've experienced indirect racism, but not indirect xenophobia. Right, right. Oh, well, you look coloured. No, 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 no. Wait, for real. When 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 I first saw you, yes, you looked coloured like Cape Town. See, like Cape Town mm-hmm. kind yeah, of I, coloured. Yeah, I actually thought he's in Cape Town. Exactly uh-huh. with the hair and everything, oh, and I was wait. like, okay. Another I was like, boy. I was swart. Like, <laughs> sorry, I was black. <laughs> no, yeah. I was like I dark. Th- when I came here, the heat opened up like my pores and then I started brightening up. My friends were laughing at me like, how oh, you become dark? I'm like, no. <laughs> the tables have turned. I've become lighter now. <laughs> the tables have turned. <laughs> but when you, when you say indirect racism, mm-hmm. what, how does it look like? So what kind of... This, yeah. like, there are these things that are implied. There are areas that when you go to, you know you'll be looked at in a certain way. Right. There's this one situation that I remember very, very well. I was, I was, I think I was like, thir- no, I was before I was thirteen. I was twelve. So my family, we went to watch um, Wonder Woman at Monte Casino. It's um, it's like a area, it's like a mall, like a nice get together place. Right. So then we came into the cinema like we late. The movie was already started and all these right. things, right? And we sat down, right, and we're passing our popcorn. Simply passing our popcorn, we're saying, oh hey whispering was like oh please pass me my popcorn oh is this for you is this for you right nobody bats an eye in fact but this family behind us <coughs> it started first this very big Afrikaans guy he kicked my chair and then he started shouting he's like hey like what are you doing I like, keep quiet I like hey bro you have to keep quiet you know like, what you're doing? <laughs> <laughs> I look back I thought it was a mistake I look back and then I'm like okay it's a mistake you know yeah. so then I continue talking to my aunt who was next to me and I say hey okay um, may I please have the, the popcorn then he kicks again and then I'm like, okay, no, something's going on. But then I look at the far end. His son right. got inspired by the father who was kicking my chair and decided... How old is this? He decided to make the biggest mistake of his life and kick my mom's chair. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, my whoa, days. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They almost had to stop the movie. M- my mom did the oh, most wow. elegant, most beautiful thing. She turned around and gave it to him. The kid was scared. Oh. He was saying, like, no, you don't have to show. My mom was like, excuse me, what are you doing? What are you doing? touch my chair so he's shouting at him going ham the Afrikaans dude decides to get up and he's like hey mom was like yeah come what are you gonna <laughs> do <laughs> no, no, no. Get she gave it even people in the crowd were like it's like I said how you speak to a woman but you're like no you can't do that and stuff like that the manager of the whole cinema had to come in and had to ask the entire family to leave. <laughs> their family? Or, yeah. Or your family? No, their family, bro. Oh. Eh, we were chilling. I mean, yeah. they started it. They started it. <laughs> we were chilling. Dude, no. But like, it was very disrespectful for his son to kick my mom's chair. It was like, yeah. that's so out of place. Like, so out of place. If, I, I thought it would be, like, it would have been better if he had kicked your chair mm. or your sister's chair. No. Like, you see how God has a way to play everything out. Right. You see? So, as soon as he kicked my mom's chair, bam. Perfect. I, I I knew like there's nothing I can do <laughs> for your sake. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> so yeah. So anyway, they kicked them out of the cinema, and then the wife tried to speak to my mom. <laughs> I 
about what? She's like, oh, you're a lady. You can't be saying, you can't be speaking so loud or shouting and stuff like that. Yo. My mom was like, bro, get out. Like, who are you talking to? Yo. Man, I really censored everything for you guys. <laughs> oh, like, the, the actual I know, thing. a lot of things. It was so, it was so like, intense. But, yeah. But um, I think I w- one thing I was glad about was that the cinema, um, they noticed that it was indirect racism, but everybody was able to come together saying that, look, it's my, it was only my mom and us all kids basically. So fighting for like the woman who's there alone, thinking a man can come and shout at a woman. No, 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 no. My mom beat the odds in that moment. So I think it was very respectful. <laughs> yeah, cheerio yeah. for your mom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That that's 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 that's, uh, that's very inspiring. Yeah, actually. It is. We could it make is. a movie out of it. <laughs> Oh, wait, wait. It reminds me of this movie of the lady who sits... Is it a lady or a guy who sits in the front of the bus during the American times when... Oh, uh, what's her name again? Was she at NASA? Was it? No, 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 no. no, 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 no. She was like... She she sat in front of the Rosa bus. Rosa Parks. Yes, yeah. Rosa yeah. Parks. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A real, like, but that's a real story. That's a real yeah. story. Not this, even, uh, this is also a real <laughs> story. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, you, you started by saying that a film... Uh-huh. No, uh, I'm it's saying not, like it's not just a film. It's yeah. based on a, a real, real story. story. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yeah, I get it. It wow. actually started the movement for like black people rights in America. Yeah. It was very interesting. So this could actually start the. Oh, <laughs> I'm sure this is just like one of like many situations. Racism is it happens. There was even this one video circulating with this white Afrikaans man. He was. <laughs> It was a joke. I found it funny, but it, it, it's people a bit serious. It. He was like, he was saying like, no, black people are a problem, bro. Like, no, 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 let's be honest. Like, let's <laughs> be honest. <laughs> and he was really trying to convince the person videoing. <laughs> right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it became... It, it became I found it hilarious. Like, right. I, I saw it from my friend's phone. I told him to send it to me. <laughs> but that's the thing. I, f- I feel like um, the concept of racism mm-hmm. or race from that century or that yes. era... And now has changed Mm -hmm. in the sense that we, this generation, don't look at racism the same way way they did. We feel like we take we take the chill pill and be like, "Eh, yes, it is. But I feel like it's still it's still. So for you, it's like uh, old stuff or like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We know about that. So South Africa is like very diverse. So like obviously like growing up in school, there was like black boys and white boys and like you throw like a little bit of racist banter. Nothing like you're really trying to hurt them, but it was just fun. It wasn't hate speech. It was just fun. It was just fun. You know how boys would usually do that sort of thing. Yeah. But then I'm sure there were times when there were like actual racist Racist going on. No, my 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 neighbor was very white. <laughs> when I say very Afrikaans. white, he was African. <laughs> he was a full truck. <laughs> but he was the nicest gentleman. Oh, like that's the thing. That's the thing. You get really nice, like white people who like, completely yeah. changed. There was one man who was so nice, and right before I left South Africa, he died. Exactly. He they always so- die when you leave <laughs> South Africa. I'm like, am I your life source? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Mr. Dennis. Ah, uh, well, how was it was called? I forgot his name. Wow. <laughs> no, 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 no. Wow. I forgot his name. Wow. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. His name is Larry O'Sullivan. Right. A big shout out to Larry O'Sullivan. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. A big shout out to Mr. Mr. Dennis. Dennis. They're hearing us in the spirit world. Don't yeah. They're like my brew. <laughs> because <laughs> because <laughs> why are so blue? With Mr. Dennis, when I experienced or. Oh, when I went through my traumatic experience mm-hmm. in South Africa, um, it was via his video cameras that we saw All the, the CCTV, the CC, uh, his CCTV yes. thing, and he looked out for my family. Like right when our fa- like, okay, so let me go into the whole story. Yeah, because you have to explain to our listeners wh- what do you mean with oh, your traumatic there. experience <laughs> in South Africa. The, they have to know the truth about because they think it's a nice place. They really do. They're like South Africa. Like what? Oh, nice. People dance. Yeah. Oh, freedom is coming. <laughs> it's not like that. It's not like that. That's like the top layer of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, did, you, did you celebrate Freedom Day uh, yesterday, by the way? No, I it was yesterday. <laughs> it was yesterday, yes. Freedom yes, Day. Yes, yes. I, I always look forward to Heritage <laughs> Day, not Freedom face. Day. Oh, <laughs> you're the one. I'm like, I did not know. <laughs> you came You came here last three months. You should remember. I sh- I'm <laughs> yes, then that it's a sign that you're completely embedded into the yeah. Ghanaian culture because yeah. you forgot Freedom Day. Wow. 
Wow. Wow. Happy Freedom Day, South Africa. Yeah. We love you all. Yeah. We love we, you. We love we, you. We don't say we don't love oh, us. We love <laughs> you. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we, we want to still go back there and be accepted. We yes, love us. We love yes. you. We don't want to go there. My lemma is like, go back. Go back. To <laughs> help. Go back. <laughs> What we are you doing here? Yeah, we don't want yeah, we you. We don't want you. <laughs> you are all racist. <laughs> go back to their country. Oh, we, to their country. Oh, we love Malema. Oh, Anyways, we really do. The red hats. So anyway, <laughs> go into your story. Yeah. This one will be. Okay. Just point. some heavy shit, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Someone give me um very, very scary music. Like background music. Bum, 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 bum. Thank you. <laughs> so on the twenty seventh of January two thousand and seventeen. When you know the date. Yeah, mm. I still remember. Of Back course, you know what's real. I know the. Oh man. Yeah, it was a Friday. So my dad's a pastor, right? And he's also a businessman, a Ghanaian businessman in South Africa. Now, um, we closed church at about nine p.m. And my dad had to go pick up my mom. From my grandma's, my grandparents' place, because she was at my grandparents' place. So um, I had to go with my uncle. So I call him uncle, Uncle Fabian. He's colored, like he's a hardened colored one. Proper colored. Yeah. Colored. They don't say colored. They say colored. Colored. <laughs> colored. Yeah. And his lovely wife, Auntie Melissa. She's Indian, so you can see. Yeah. I have to. St- I have to state it. Durban <laughs> is full of Indians. It, like I, not just Indians, dark Indians. Black. And black. The, no like, way. Oh, more than Guyanian oh, dark. Oh, 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 <laughs> no oh, offense. Oh. No. Hey, just we have she to state was, the truth. She was. She was like the Jasmine Indian. Okay. Like oh. Aladdin and Jasmine Indian. She oh. Had long hair. But you get those ones that are just baked, swart, as I like to say. <laughs> swart. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I like how you're making this a little bit more okay. lively. Enough of the jokes. <laughs> this is I, no, I love no, it. No, that's the thing. After I, traumatic experiences, you love to just make jokes about yes. it because it just, I don't know. It, it just, just dumpens the mood after mm-hmm. that. But anyways, so we're coming home from church. Everything was nice. Actually, that, that day my uncle was angry. I was angry. I mean, I don't know what about, but I don't remember what about, but I remember him being angry. And then, you know, when a colored man is angry, and has to say everything, he will say everything. So we get, so my house is like the last house on our street, on our street, which is Kudmore Street. So um, beside my house is a railway, the metro line. Okay, okay, okay. Right. And you know, they always make the metro line higher than yes, the houses. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. in South Africa. So you're coming straight, but you have to take a right turn to <laughs> enter my gate, right? And the moment you take a right turn, your side, the side of the vehicle faces the roadway. Okay. So imagine this. Yes. You're an architect. <laughs> <laughs> then we are turning to, like, we are taking the right turn into the house. Okay. And our, every, almost every house in South Africa is remote controlled, right? So we press it and it's going slow. Then all of a sudden, all I see is firecrackers on the, on the bonnet. It's like, do, 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 do. And then my uncle is like, ah, shit. That's all he says. That's all he says. Ah, shit. Dang it. No, 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 oh, no, dang I it. Have to, I'm, not, I'm not censoring anything. Ah, shit. Joe, get down. And I'm like, what's happening? <laughs> oh. what's yeah, I'm looking at it. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking, oh, wait, is the engine burning or something? Or are, Crazy. They, are there firecrackers that we don't know about? <laughs> he said, no, Joe, we are getting shot at. And I'm like, oh, my God. In my, okay. Okay, there's the funny part of it. In my head, I'm thinking, do I get out? Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've watched so many movies, you know. And they run, and you run. Yeah, and, uh, do I get out and run? Do I get out and chase the person shooting? <laughs> I, I've been watching my dad has yes. to with James Bond and Jason <laughs> Bond Double, movies. 007. Double O seven. Double O seven. You feel me? But then, um, he tells me to get down, and then everything. His wife hides under the. Um, the dashboard the, the dashboard and then he's just taking everything he's saying be quiet be calm he's being the man in that like he's actually being the man wow. in there then uh, uh, everywhere goes silent like it's over just as quickly as, as it started so then the car can't start again 
then it starts moving into the house slowly because like a movie just like a movie you know when we're leaving the house you switch on the outside lights switch off mm-hmm, everywhere mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and we move into our house and like the car naturally drifts because south africa is a hilly pl- is, yeah. is a hilly place it so, is it is so the car drifts into the house and then we park then as soon as he hears that everything is clear he drives out like he miraculously miraculously i say this thanking god every day the car started they damaged the engine but the car started Mm -hmm. and we were able to reverse and move out of the area without attracting any more gunshots and so one reason why i say thank you mr dennis is because the moment we are moving out he comes out with his gun Mr. Dennis's gun. Mr. Mr. Dennis's. Every, an old they man. They all have white. They yeah. Have guns. No, white like men always have white like guns. Yeah, yeah. See, man. an old man uh-huh. carries his pistol in an attempt to, you know, shoot the shoot the people. But then um, sacrifice his life, bro. We are <laughs> no, and, and uh, attempted right. to sacrifice. Right. Life. But like we're trying to get out of the area, so mm. we don't stop for anyone or anything. And a Mercedes Benz, which has been parked on top. So, uh, it's like, my house is low, low. Mm -hmm. And on the hill, there's a church. There's the road. Another road, then my house. So, we are, like, literally climbing back. So, as my uncle reverses the car out of the yard, he places his hand over the seat. Because now the rearview mirrors are also damaged. So, he places it, and my hand goes under. And all I see is blood. Ooh. I like and it's warm. At first, I didn't see it as blood. Yeah, I, I yeah. just felt warm liquid. That's how it happened there. Yeah. yeah, and I look at my hand and I'm like blood. But then again, my mind is like, no, Joe, don't panic. It's not the time. You're a man. <laughs> yeah, I was I was encouraging myself then because my dad was always like, you are Ghanaian. Mm-hmm. You have the warrior spirit in you. 100%. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not joking. Like my dad always encourages me. Like. Never mm-hmm. give up. Mm-hmm. You're Ghanaian. You have to be tough. Mm-hmm. If I have been able to survive 22 years of this, mm-hmm. you can survive anything. anything exactly. So I'm there like, yeah. Then we keep driving. Then I see this Mercedes Benz, which has been parked, following us. Then I'm like, you see the following. Sure. Is the, the following is the most traumatic it's experience. Bad. Because it's like, it's bad. are you going to kill us or something? Do you want to finish the job? <sighs> Then we keep driving and driving and driving. And we... I, I, I don't know if I remember the place, but it's, I think, Woodridge. We passed the Woodridge roundabout. And then we are heading towards um, Montclair. Okay. It's another place in Durban. So we are heading towards Montclair. There's a Debonair's Pizza on the left. My favorite pizza place. So on my way to Debonair's Pizza, like on our way, because then I'm calling my dad and I'm like, Dad... We're short. What do you mean you're short? Where are you? Like, where are you people? And my dad, once my dad heard that we have been shot, <laughs> ham, he goes ham. He goes ham. Like, he goes on. And so, and my dad speeds a lot. Speeds, my, okay. My dad, my dad likes to, I feel like my dad, dad wanted to be a race car driver. Before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So then we park at the Debonairs, but just before we park at the Debonairs, the Mercedes Benz, which has been following us, mm. then speeds up, slows down beside us, and then continues. So imagine, I'm like, okay, go on. Uh, like you thought they were going to do another shooter. Yeah, shoot another shooter. Oh. And I was oh. like, Uncle, uh, 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 the entire time I'm telling, Uncle Forbes, they are following us. He said, Joe. Like, he's like, Joe. Like kind of yeah 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 like you should like stop talking like yeah stop uh, I'm scared of course yeah I don't want to die I don't want to <laughs> die I'm young. Was. exactly yeah. and then they come pass by and then we go park by the by the Debonair's Pizza place and mind you I've not I've not shed a tear since oh, the yeah. entire thing then my dad and my grandparents come. And then, like, my dad pulls a, a, a quick C, like a G turn okay, or okay. whatever, a J turn in front. Not exactly a J turn, but, like, one of those. You crazy. hear the skirt? Yeah, you hear that. And then comes, 
slams the door. Joe! And then when I see my dad, I'm just like... <sighs> of course. Of course. And then we go to the Wentworth Hospital. And I spend two days there. And I'm like, Lord, if you keep me alive and get me home, I'm forever going to worship you in everything. Oh. Because oh. then I had a bullet, bullet lodged in my Thigh. right thigh. So, uh, and my uncle had six bullets in his chest. And he was able to drive. And he was alive. No one yeah, died. Is he, is he still alive? Yes. With a bouncing... Like, he's had a son. A very handsome son, though. And everyone... Like, everyone is alive. I'm not going to... Uh, I'm not going to talk about where my auntie got mm-hmm. her bullet. Y'all are just going to laugh. You're mean people. In I, the I, I can ask ah, you. In the butt. I, I guess uh, so, too. <laughs> No, so uh, yeah, that's a good cushion, though. Yeah, actually. it's a good cushion. Yeah, she was pregnant at that point, at Whoa! that time with a son. God. So you can imagine what would have happened if, yeah. and f- the entire time, I was like, God, get me out of this because I had some pretty weird movements in the hospital as well. But like, those are just my my those are moments where my mind was just playing with me. Wondering. What kind of weird moments? Oh, horror, st- horror, horror movie moments. Dude, like, like, okay, okay, okay. This one time, I w- I woke up. I was sent to the male's ward, uh-huh. not the children's ward, because I was above mm-hmm. children's age. And I wake up to go piss. Like, uh, I was mm. in the surgical ward because a bullet. yes, of course. Okay. Then there was this old man who I think had an uh uh uh. uh tracheotomy or something i don't know i don't know what the what he had but he had a pipe sticking out through his throat throat, and he couldn't talk so all you hear is (sighs) the wheezing sound and then i woke up and i'm like (sighs) i woke up and i'm going in i'm like with a drip in my hand so i'm on drip this is like the conjuring like i don't even know (laughs) (laughs) i'm I'm going walking walking and i hear (sighs) Oh my uh, God! Ain't no way, boy. I'm uh, turning no around. I'm running. There. I'm like, bro, I can That's hold not it. even the worst I part. It. I can hold it. <laughs> can yeah. hold it. I, wait, we'll get to the part where I told myself I can hold it because then I go out of the ward. I look to my left, and there's this old man sitting in a wheelchair with his drip hanging on the thingy thingy. That little. That yeah, little stand. stand, and he's he's sitting down like, <laughs> oh my! Oh, yeah, and then no. the lights are flickering. Oh, like, oh, oh no! No! Oh, no! 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 I can hold it. I can hold it. That was when I was like, I can hold it. I went back Uh-oh. into my bed, put the sheets over. And I was like, sleep, bro. Sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. And you, and you did that sleep. turn around where you like, Ow. you don't show you're scared. You're just like, oh, I want to turn around by myself. Exactly. So yeah. I don't need to pee anymore. Yeah, I, don't I don't need to exactly. But then it kept coming. And the worst part is I go back to the place and he's not there. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't play like that. No, no. Hey, he's not like I'm reliving the thought the memories right now. He's not there. And I'm like, I really hope a nurse came to take him. <laughs> Like I really, really hope a nurse came to take him. Because like this no, is no, why no. I hate hospitals. Yeah. <gasps> oh my goodness. It was a public hospital too, so you can imagine how big it is, bro. Especially public hospitals, bro. But I, I wonder. Can I ask you a question? Right. Uh, what What moment in that traumatic um, situation? What moment keeps on playing in your head? Because usually when we go through traumatic experiences like this, there's mm. one particular moment that keeps on playing in your head. Is uh, it the moment, for instance, that you saw the blood on your arm or... There were, two, there were two moments that keep playing back when the blood first, because it was like, I haven't seen that much blood before. Mm-hmm. And the fact that it poured on my hand and it dried It came my from hand. your hand? No, it came from my uncle's hand. Oh! So you remember, okay. So yeah, because he was shot in the leg. Okay. I was I was yeah. yeah. So my <laughs> uncle, like, when he was turning, like, to reverse the car, the entire time his blood is just oozing on my arm, my left arm. I still remember. Like, I can still feel the warmth today. Shots breath. Yeah. So, like, it was all there. And then um, the second moment was the chase, where I felt like the Mercedes Benz was chasing us. Because... Mm. 
you do, I want to ask because right. I know in traumatic experiences there's a specific emotion that is like the complete utter worst. I like to call it dread. Right. So in that moment, there's this sort of imminent feeling where you just all you desire is for everything to be over, right? And everything just to go back the way it was. I don't exactly. know. So, do you feel that in the second as as it was happening? Yeah, the second, mind you, when the bullets were being shot, I didn't know what was going on. It was after the bullets, like the 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 the, the shooting, shooting ended. Then I was like, okay, so I was just in a shootout. Mm-hmm. Then it started to hit me, but the 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 point where I started to feel dread, as mm-hmm. you said, was when we were heading to Debonair's Pizza, and then they were following. And I yeah, the Mercedes Benz was because it's a car. We were in an Opel Astra. You're a Mercedes Benz. Pass, like go away. But then you keep driving behind us until we get to somewhere there's light. I at that point I'm like. Are you gonna do it or you're not like, gonna just do it now? Just, just put it. you out of your yeah. misery, yeah, bro. Yeah, so like this whole, like, through the whole moment, did you right. feel like you were shot? Did it sink in that you were shot? Mind you, um, okay, so I started crying when I saw my dad. Mm-hmm. I felt the the warmth of the bullet in my leg when mm-hmm. I got to the hospital. <coughs> so the entire time, adrenaline was just yeah. going. Yeah, that is. And did you feel pain? I mean, I'm also wondering, you know, if you're in that kind of state. No, you don't feel pain mm-hmm. until until you're video. calm, and then the adrenaline goes away, and then the heat comes. Yeah, that's exactly what they described. I watched YouTube videos, and they were describing people were describing how it was when they first got shot. They said they don't feel the pain, the adrenaline, and the heat comes. Yeah. So when when you're calm, and everything has died down, that's when the heat comes. And the worst part of this entire experience, right? Then I got to know it was a xenophobic attack. Or then I concluded that it was a xenophobic attack. Was the fact that um, my dad went back to South Africa. So I was the shooting happened on 27th. I was back in Ghana by the 2nd of wow, February. Yeah. It was that quick. So it was the reason why you came back to Ghana. Yeah, that was the reason why I came back to Ghana. So... Um, my dad went back to South Africa trying to follow up on the case because apparently the case came on the Sun. I don't know if you have the Sun, like the newspaper. <gasps> yes, the yes, sun. yes. The yeah, Daily the, Sun. The Daily Sun, <coughs> right? But for Yellowwood Park and oh, wow. Montclair and I the mean, rest. Sure. And oh, wow. and and uh, they counted thirty bullet shells. So shot from an M6 rifle. I still remember the details, but the police don't. <laughs> South the African poli- police. Yeah, SAP. S- South African police. <laughs> SAPS or SAPC. <laughs> I don't even know what they yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what they call it. Anyways, like, yeah. Like, my dad, my dad was, I was like, I kept on checking in with my dad and he was like, I was like, dad, the police, what are they saying about it? Mm. They're like, and he's like, don't worry, son. They just said they, they, there was no case like that. And I was like, in, in all honesty, when my dad cut the call, I apologize, dad. If you hear this, I am being very honest now. I told myself that is bullshit. Mm. I'm not supposed to swear. My family, I would come under fire. <laughs> I'm serious. But like, that is, that is bull. Cause but don't you see it as him? Like he was sort of protecting you because you, you, were, you weren't in the space to be I feel like bombarded with all of exactly, this. Exactly. I feel like that too. But I was thinking of the... The whole... I, I just wanted to get... You wanted answers. Yeah, I wanted answers. I wanted to understand why. Exactly. Because I'm minding my business. I've not gone to kill anyone. I've not done anything. So I tried to mind my business. So I don't understand why I should attract that. Then the conclusions started coming. Because I like to draw lines with, uh-huh. with like events and things. So I started concluding that, okay... It's probably because of this and this and that. Then you connect everything. And I connect everything because no no one in my family goes around shouting, you are a stupid man. You mm. are this. We just want to make our money and live our lives and enjoy our lives and then just live better. Mm. That's all. So why would you come shoot me? So mm. yeah, that's about the safety in South Africa. Yeah. It shocks me though how Ghanaians are able to withdraw. Like 20,000 Ghana CDs and, and keep walk it with it before, even <laughs> after 8 p.m. Walk with it. And 
like it's in their hand it's not even in their really? pocket they're just walking down the street like really? <laughs> South Africa. South Africa. You're holding a twen- twenty rand. Twenty rand. <laughs> the Somebody bank can would not to give. Somebody can walk up to you and be like, "Hey, hey, hey, boys, 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 and even South Africa, I don't think the banks will allow you to take Ever. more they than a thousand. They'll, they'll question you. Yeah, wh- why? Where did you get this money? Yeah, from? Exactly. You, you would all. look suspicious. Yes. You would look suspicious. Like, what's your job? <laughs> <laughs> That's like, the thing. So actually, um, one thing I wasn't used to when I when I came here was that to do any deposit, like say for example, school fees, or you're paying somebody to right. somebody's account, you have to withdraw the cash and like hold it. When in South Africa, you could just do it on your phone on or your phone, yeah. a computer or whatever. Like. Right. So I thought it was very unsafe. Yeah, I was like, oh my gosh, this is not such a good idea. Like, you can't be holding my cash around like this and stuff like that. And I'm saying, like, at one time, I was in front of the bank and I saw a lady hold, like, 150, like, her hand. It was like... Here in Ghana? F- yeah, holding... <laughs> just walking in. Essay. Essay. You won't even... You just... You know, yeah. <laughs> just but what what do you think that says about Ghana then? It that that you are just explain to listeners. You so know. so um, I, I'll use it as a way to basically give my description of Ghanaian people. So actually, when I came here, I really understood how because I went anytime I'd read on Ghana whilst I was in South Africa, they say the people are very hospitable. And I was like, okay, now let me go and experience that for myself. Came okay, and I'm like, wow, they really are. So during my time, because I schooled for one year here, one year here in the SHS. There was this one thing that they do, and they'd say, you're invited to, like, any mm-hmm. meal. And stuff. I'm like, wow, that's so nice. I would never do that. <laughs> My food is for me, but I just... Especially not, not to a foreigner. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was something for me. That was just like, no, 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 no. And then another thing was that in South Africa, um, I would feel very uncomfortable if my sisters or my mom would go walking um, alone. Outside. I remember this time, I, s- I faced very severe paranoia. It was, it was really, really, like, anytime I heard my dogs would bark at the gate, like, my heart would start pumping so yeah. fast. So, anytime my mom would go jogging around or anything like that, I would just beg her, like, let me come with you. Yeah. <laughs> like, I can protect you. I, like, I've seen Ninja Turtles. <laughs> 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 you know, so, like, um, coming here, right. I realized, even though we were in a quiet area, it's very safe. You can you can walk around anywhere, anytime. Um, obviously, I wouldn't say all the time everywhere but i'm just saying it's more free it's more relaxing than it was in south africa as well i think that's also the reason why i didn't choose to go to south africa Mm. so even though i uh really love the people and uh, the the history is is very fascinating at the same time being a woman alone is very difficult to to especially you know especially it's it's so it it yeah i i really needed to a space where i could walk freely even if it's late at night so um so here i could you know be alone and go to circle one of the you know mm-hmm. the city mm-hmm. center really the city center of accra and just feel comfortable mm-hmm. and i could never do things like that uh when i was in johannesburg no right. no right. there was a shopping center like two it was li- you could literally see it from our house and to walk, if you ran, you could get there in less than a minute. Right. And I still wouldn't feel comfortable with my sisters walking in there. My mom would ask me sometimes, Mohammed, well, just like walk with them. Right here in Ghana? No, no, no in South Africa. In, in South Africa. Yeah, it's just very, very unsafe. Right. Very, very unsafe. But you, you, you've you, not spoken about Lesotho. Lesotho is basically the same as South Africa. Everything you're saying right now is just like the same. Mm. It's just not safe at right. all. Have you like, had an experience? like? Like, just... I remember once I was going to like the store at night right. and then there's like this alley that you walk through. Ooh. I know, I know. Yeah. And then there's no lights because it's Lesotho. So, Escom. So, Escom is like ECG yes. in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Yes. Just like how Nepal is the same mm-hmm. in Nigeria. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah, so you have to walk through that dark alley to get to the store. Right. And so I'm walking there and then you know when you have a feeling that somebody's right oh, at the no. back Ooh. and then I turn 
And then there's this person with a black hoodie Yo. just walking. <laughs> and then I'm like, uh-uh, no. not on. And then I'm like, let me walk faster. And then when you walk faster, this person's like, no. double, like, like, no. like, like, heck no. Nah. <laughs> like, so like, I'm like, okay, 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 calm down. Maybe just, you're being paranoid. Like, right, just right. walk faster. And then luckily, like right. the store was like this size. So I was right. like, Phew. and, and then so the person like, you know, when you're like, I watching know yeah, what yeah. Was about you to know go. what you were gonna do so it's very very unsafe Ooh. one thing that I like about Ghana is you can walk around anytime yeah. and you feel comfortable yeah. you really do but you just just be still cautious yes yeah, yes Ghana is not as safe as it was four years back okay because when I came to Ghana um four years back right I remember I could easily I was I was I was living in the bush <laughs> like I was living in the bush and I remember going to high school leaving as early as 3 a.m. because okay. I got used to I already knew the system of like Ghanaian SHS schools mm. or Ghanaian high schools telling you that hey you have to come early you have to come very early for but they're not very punctual <laughs> <laughs> they say lessons start at 8 but it starts at 9 at 9 <laughs> that's the thing I think Ghana changes you over time because yeah. like I used to be so punctual because South yeah. Africa was like yes. eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Seven th- no, eight o'clock is seven thirty. <laughs> true. Well, true. Everyone is seated by like seven thirty or something. Yes. But then I came to Ghana and I was leaving home as early as um, three a.m. Mm. in the bush, mind you. And sorry, <laughs> so I was leaving as early as three a.m. trying to get to school and everything. I, 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 it was chill. Yeah, I hear gun gunshots and everything yeah, you from don't. time from time to time. But like, it was safe. I'm home, you know. Wait, in South Africa, in Ghana, in Ghana. But then, but then, recently, when people get in shot over avocado, avocado, like I repeat, avo- You know what avocado is, right, yeah. bro? Like avocado. What? Yeah. They were fighting like no brawling. shot. Bro. I know, but like they were like. Yeah, give me so, my so, avocado. <laughs> no, <laughs> why? And I'm avocado. Like, it's avocado. It's avocado. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my god, I can't let my sisters walk around at this. You like, get it? Yeah. And my mom is always like, I always leave campus quite late. I leave campus like in the morning. Bro, that's the morning. That's not even late. <laughs> that's <laughs> just the next day. <laughs> that's the next day. And I live very far. For safety reasons, I can't say exactly where. Mm-hmm. But then, um, I leave, and my mom is like, "You have to come home early. <laughs> you have to come home early." Yeah, what I'm like, "Mom, it's Ghana. It's Ghana, but people get missing." <laughs> <laughs> so Lovely. yeah, irrespective of the fact that um, Ghana is safe, mm-hmm. I still feel like we should keep. Yes, yes, so yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Don't rule everything out. Just exactly. No, no, no. Exactly. Yeah. So, Miss Lisbeth, mm-hmm. what about you? Have you had an experience? What about, about, what about me? What In kind South of Africa? experience? Yeah. Yes. Racism, um, xenophobia, something. Yeah, yeah. I, um, I one time bought a train ticket to go from Johannesburg to uh, Cape Town. How the train? blue train? With, with what kind of train? The blue train. Is or it the, the blue train? <laughs> it's really the train train it's, it's like 27 hours how train how train yeah it should be the how train i don't think the how train goes to cape town there's a train Metro. 27 hours that goes from johannesburg to then then, then in 2005 maybe they've changed ah, the 2005 i keep forgetting ah, you <laughs> were <it laughs> born, born. <laughs> i was born in 2005 <laughs> so i think if it was the blue train i've heard that the blue train is also a bit unsafe oh okay that's okay. what i heard yeah. growing up so I don't know what the blue train is, okay, okay. but um, and there were like three classes, um, and I took a train ticket for the first class. So I was sitting with all the rich people, <laughs> and that put me. So they put me in a compartment with uh, three white women, nice. and there were seats for four people: two here, two there. And then all the three women, none of them wanted to sit next to me. Oh. <laughs> so Wow. So they're sitting across me, the three of them, and they were looking at me and they were talking among each other. Two of them were Africana women, and one, I think, one was br- had British blood. She she had a yeah British accent, and they were looking at me for uh, several hours. And then at some point, I got a call from uh, my boyfriend then, mm. who was I supposed to meet in in Cape Town, 
and he was on his way to we were going to meet uh, in Cape Town, and he's mm. a boyfriend from uh, from Holland. So I was speaking Dutch. Oh. Ah, and because <laughs> I was speaking Dutch, uh-huh. right. that was the icebreaker. He started to like ah. you. <laughs> exactly, like, exactly. The exactly. three Stooges like, finally oh, told. They were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. They were wrong. Uh, serious. At the end of the train ride, we be really became friends. Are they you started still friends? <laughs> no, not not like okay, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was exchange. No, no, not like that. But it was really, it would really became fun because right. then they started to ask me questions like, uh, "Are you, are you from, you know, are you from uh, from somewhere else? Are you from your?" So I started to explain to them that yes, I'm I'm from from Holland, and I just, you know, I spoke. That's that's the Dutch language that I just spoke. And oh, interesting. So they started asking me questions, and I also started asking them some questions. And their questions were really, you know, they asked me things like, "Are the black people in your country also very they dirty?" Implied racism. <laughs> I want to ask: Did they, did, did did are the black as the people? ice was broken? Did some of them like move to your side of the? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, oh, yes. Which yes. one? Which one? Well, it was more like it's, it's 20 f- 27 hours then. Eh? Mm-hmm. Right. So in the 27 hours, you would go and come. Mm-hmm. You would sometimes mm-hmm. sit in the restaurant together. Right. We would One had a bottle of wine, very sour, but we drank yeah. the wine. Yeah. You have you to be posh. It's rich people. Porsche. You have to impress. <laughs> <laughs> so it was actually quite fun. But I was I kept myself like I bite my tongue sometimes. But I was not angry because I, for me, I've met a lot of uh, people with all kinds of racist ideas. Right. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's more about uh, I want to understand them, and I' pretty sure they had some judgment about me, and that also, uh, uh, you know, that also it, it became I became aware of the kind of judgment they had uh, about me mm-hmm. during the con- during our conversations. But I I stayed polite. So when they were asking me, are the black people also very dirty? Do they also stink? They, are they, you know. Are they also? They just. They just. Also. <laughs> yes. Like what you trying like to say about to us? Say. Oh, no way. I'm is gonna it? catch you and beat oh. you. Bro. I will beat you. I will you. show you why exactly. we dirty. <laughs> we, we don't do spanky, spanky. We beat. We beat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so so, but I w- I stayed calm. I said no, no. The black people, you know, I'm I'm part of that uh, community. I'm part of the black community in Holland, and so I was trying to explain to them. And then at some point, they started asking me a question about my boyfriend, and I was like, "Is he? I- what color is he? Is he is he white or is he dark or is he you no?" Know? And then I explained to them, "He's uh, he's white." So I, then then it was a white boyfriend, uh-huh. and <laughs> and then later in the conversation, one of them. The oldest one, that was the the Irish one, was like, you know, um, <coughs> white and black doesn't go together. <laughs> you can't, the you hell? can't, yes. And then she mentioned two animal names, like you can't, you can't mix, you can't, the one animal can't mate with the other animal, and. You know, I, I forgot the animal names that she what? mentioned. KKK, bro. bro. KKK. KKK, bro. No way. This is serious, okay, no, dude. No, 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 no. Let's, let's not jump to conclusions. She, she, she means well for... What, what do you mean she, she means well? Warn me. <laughs> yeah, she, she really wanted to warn me. Like, you know... <laughs> <laughs> There's no way she means well. Okay, sure. Because now she's the white people. Yeah, Man, she's thinking well for the white it's people. It's so... No. No, uh, we are not trying to be racist here. Because mm-hmm. now by our statements, we're just shaming. I want. I actually did want to actually bring mm. up the fact I've met some the most n- the nicest white, white people, people in South yeah. Africa, like they teachers. Exactly. They will like favor the black kids. Exactly. <laughs> like Tavo, you no. very Tavo, well. and they will like learn the language and exactly. the black kids and it's just so sweet. So guys, these are just experiences with the very few, very what? few. Okay, but the white people are generally, generally nice. Okay, yeah. just generally. But these these are the KKKs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so everybody has their own prejudiceness. Uh, yeah. You yourself, you also have certain prejudiceness. And that's yeah. what I've learned from, you know, being in different countries, talking to a lot of different people. You can't say a white person is a racist or a yeah, black person no, 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 is, is not a racist. I, I've met <laughs> I've met <laughs> black racists. Racist. You get it. True. People are anti-white and... <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> White. Yes, <laughs> Uncle White. <laughs> exactly, exactly. So I always say, look at people, their hearts. Yeah. Where is their? Where is it coming from? Is are they speaking from their heart or are mm-hmm. they speaking from their the, hey. from their mm-hmm. racist mind? Because we all grew up with a lot of racial thought, mm-hmm. and uh, we all have prejudiceness. Mm-hmm. But it's about how do you break it down? Are you aware? I still 
have issues, for instance, if I meet a white uh, a foreigner here in Ghana, a white European, especially if I meet, you know, you're at the airport and then you hear, uh, I hear the white Dutch uh, language. I'm I always do it like this. I always <laughs> cover my head and I'm like, I'm not one of them. I'm not one of them. I can't hear them. I never want to be associated with them, which is, of course, stupid because, mm -hmm. you know, I'm, I am also one of them yeah. because it's also part of my cultural background. Exactly. But somehow that, that's the first, that's the first yes. uh, impulse that I get. Like, I'm not one of them. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna, and I'm going to, and they will never recognize me. So okay. I also met some white Dutch people in South Africa. And then in the first few minutes, I would speak English. So they wouldn't know that, oh, this is a... And then at some point, I would say, so I would say something in Dutch. Like, right. yeah. And then we're like, they would go like, what? You brought fucking along with me. And it's as if they, they, they feel like they always respond as if they are caught. All of a sudden, you know, you, you, you really uh, racist, cut them I'm off guard. Wait, I'm not yeah. racist. <laughs> And that, that, so that's, that's uh, you know, so look at people, their hearts. It's really not about, skin color doesn't tell you whether or not the person it is really a good person, is really somebody doesn't. who's, you know. It really it doesn't. Really doesn't. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so um, before we move on to what's next, I'd like to know, right? So some people outside of South Africa see or hear about xenophobia and there's already a notion placed like, given what they've heard, like, my story uh -huh. and then other stories, the videos we've seen and what whatnot. And so I want to know, how do we explain <laughs> what happened during the xenophobic attacks to people here in Ghana? Like... Okay, I get you. You get me? Mm -hmm. Can we explain that? Yeah. Yeah, can we explain? Um, I, I just want to highlight one thing. Um, So, apartheid, basically, when... Um, South Africa gained their independence was in 1994. So I just I, I like to reference this because it just let people know that it was less than 30 years ago right. that we just that gained, gained, yeah. gained independence, that we decided to, okay, stop. That's why I believe there's still a lot of racism going on because it's still a little bit fresh. Mm -hmm. Do you get me? So a lot of the time, it would be mostly the old people, the racists, because they, they're the ones that grew up in that period. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I wanted to highlight that as well going into the xenophobic attacks. Um I didn't I wasn't really <coughs> say mm, like I didn't get the the meat of the stories when it came to the xenophobic attacks. I heard a lot about it and, and I heard that it was mostly directed to the people bordering the countries like Botswana yeah, 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 yeah. Really? and Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. I know yes. I know a lot of Zimbabweans like they and were Nigerians as well. Nigerians. Nigerians. Yes, especially Nigerians. Like and they were even burning them. They burned yeah, I saw. Them alive. Oh, on the wow. street. It was bad. It was really, really bad. They burnt them alive mm -hmm. on the streets, and I saw the videos, and it was it was really intense. It was gruesome. But I never experienced it from a person. Mm -hmm. um, again, I didn't look like a foreigner, I guess. So right. yeah. <laughs> you look colored, man. <laughs> yeah, no, because I wanted to say. <laughs> Don't <laughs> chop my chops, me, bro. I think there's a there's there's a way that you would find a Zimbabwe. <laughs> <laughs> instead of saying 60 Yo. they say 60 <laughs> <laughs> so oh. it's, it's in the way they speak <laughs> it's true no uh, but I, I feel like you can't really blame them but w before I come to my point I'd like to know what your point is um, I definitely agree with what he has to say yeah it's not I, I haven't experienced xenophobia on a personal level right. I really haven't but I've seen and like it was in a way directed to my dad because How? I mean like because you see he's like he works in a very like busy place right so people obviously know he's not from there because right. he looks and he doesn't speak the language right so people would just throw comments like that like ah uh, go back to your country this right, is right, not right. your home like what Ooh. are you doing here you know and it would get me like really mad and then I just enter and I'll be like no 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 don't speak to my dad like, like you that actually right. yeah but I speak the language so I tell them mm -mm, don't speak to my dad like that Ooh, so they'd nice. be surprised that nice. I'm his daughter because I speak the language and he doesn't so yeah in a way I've experienced it through my dad mm -hmm. yeah mm. so it's it's really it's really bad woman of power you yeah, understand <laughs> yeah. yeah. woman of power yeah. yo yeah. that that's actually brave because yeah. then I, I know I know some South Africans or some like let's generalize it yeah. some South African men do not like being spoken like like they don't like being confronted at all by a woman by a woman at exactly all. Mm -hmm. So 
the, the also gender Kenyan men don't like that. <laughs> they know. Yeah, but it's, it's it's subtle here. Yeah, back home they would beat you. Yeah, like. Yeah, the gender-based violence in South Africa is it's very. Oh, is I feel like it's a bit worse in Lesotho. Really? It really is. Also. Like, really bad. Like, really, really bad. No, man. Because people just, like, they don't talk about it. It's It just happens. Yeah, it just happens. It happens and people don't talk about it. They just hush, hush, hush. They don't uh. want to report it. If it happens, they don't want to speak about it. They just keep it on the low. Right. I feel that that's why it's so bad. Because yes. they give the men the the feeling of being entitled right. to doing all that right. so yeah no it, it Sorry, is man. bad and the sad the part is um i hate it when children have to grow up and then it's like they are being fed these beliefs and ideas yeah. mm-hmm. do you understand you have to cut the source from the root do you get me you have to completely turn this if you really want to turn gender-based violence around because let's not lie what keeps families together usually is the women, the mothers, the sisters, the aunties, you know. They're the ones really holding the ropes, you know, when everything right. is going south or right. whatever it is. So we really need to show them appreciation. For me, the strongest woman in my life is my mom, hands down, 100%. Sorry, Amen. Amen. I'll clap Amen. for my mom. <laughs> no, 100%. And the fact that you would treat women like her, because I know there are strong women out there. and mm-hmm. ev- I know everybody's mother in their life you know, has played some huge role, you know, uh, so... A huge, like... Uh, like, big. honestly, bro. how... Why would you... Do like, that. Beat? Honestly, bro. The, and like, and they, they don't... They don't see anything wrong with it. Yeah, it's... Uh, they beat you up, and then you're like, nah, it's not that bad, but you have, like, a bruised eye. And you're like, it's not that bad. No, no it's bad, girl. Mothers, it. mothers, they really try. They're like, they no, don't worry about it. Bro. Don't worry yeah. about it. You go to school, you get your education, yeah. focus on your books. Mm-hmm. Well, uh... I understand you. I can't relate though because, so, uh, okay, I'm not saying that your mom went through the same thing. No, no, no. Mm-hmm, no. I'm not saying your mom did either. Mm. And definitely my mom didn't go through. Mm. Big ups, dad. Mm-hmm. Big ups to our dads for actually, yeah, holding it down. But like, I can't relate in the f- in the sense that I have not seen it happen, but I understand. And how should I say? I support what you're saying and yes i think we could do things or raise awareness about what exactly is going on in those regions and then let people know that yo you see the country all beautiful lesotho Mm -hmm. all beautiful this is going on Mm -hmm. this is good this is not right it's not south africa is the definition of looks can be deceiving (laughs) oh yeah but it's a really nice place no it's a beautiful place beautiful okay okay we've spoken about its organs We've spoken a lot, a, a, a lot of bad things about South Africa. That are bad. The good ones now. Mine, McDonald's. Oh! <laughs> 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 You're taking me back. I remember my last burger before coming to the country. I just oh told my God. best friend that I was leaving, and when we went to we went to sit at the at this McDonald's. Now I'll say the area, but you guys don't know. So it's like right across Crystal Mall. All right. Then. Oh, we had a burger and we're just chilling, taking videos. He's saying, "Yeah, so this kid, he's taking videos like, oh, this guy's gonna leave me. He's going back to Ghana, <laughs> and all that stuff, and stuff." It was such a nice experience, really. You what? savor every bite. <laughs> you, yeah. I did. If you look at the video, I was literally like, <laughs> oh, I was cr- "I'm never I gonna." gonna <laughs> I felt crazy. I was like, <laughs> 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 yeah, <I'm never> <laughs> "This burger." <laughs> so I thought you were joking. I thought you said McDonald's as a joke. No, no. McDonald's. Because I know, <laughs> I, I hope you know that McDonald's is an American USA brand. Yes. 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 And that <laughs> the food is very unhealthy. I hope you yeah. know that too. Right? Don't care. I, have a, I have a funny story uh, I saved for this. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys heard it. You know Chicken Licking? Yeah. 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 Oh, the best chicken. I know. <laughs> the best chicken. <laughs> so so, good. so, so we, we, so my one friend, Reynold and I, oh. well, I just said his name. Wow. Anyway, we were walking because um, we like to walk. We walked everywhere. Like, we'd walk across Gauteng if we could. <laughs> right. So, we were walking this one time to um, North Cliff Mountain, which is like this area where you can see the whole of Johannesburg and right. like, the plains. It's so yeah. beautiful. Yeah. So, we're walking this one time. We, we're walking past this quiet street. <laughs> if you listen to this, you'll start laughing by now. <laughs> so, we're walking. We cross the road. There's this car that keeps doing some U turns around and things like that. We're like, okay, calm down, calm no, down. No, we're <laughs> Yeah, like, <laughs> like the car, like, so the car slows down, it passes, it goes. 
then it turns around and it comes back. Then now it's coming down arrow, but then it starts slowing down. Meanwhile, everything is happening. My friend Reynolds, he's telling me, he's like, bro, look, it, it's dangerous. We have to like, <laughs> like be careful, be Back careful. Out, yeah. So as the car comes, now this time, it comes to us. So like yeah. the car slows and it stops in front of us. I'm, I'm, a, I'm the type of person who I will find out what you want. Did you get me? My, no, he was gone. I tell you, he, he was you. gone. No, he <laughs> left. <laughs> like, I didn't even see him go. Like, he, <laughs> it, it was the second time it happened. <laughs> second. <laughs> the second time. The first time he just said, yo, run. But the yo, run was as he was running. <laughs> like, yo, run. <laughs> but this time he was gone. No, he this time, gone. I don't even think he said something to me. Just, ah. No, literally. I was just, I no, turned my friends. head. I turned, yeah. my, I turned <laughs> my head. And he was turning the corner. Hey, Reynold, <laughs> we see you. I've got your back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and we 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 are athletes. We're like athletes, so we yeah, like yeah. competing in leagues, t- pumping his hands, lifting his knees. He's gone. So anyway, the car stops in front of us. They roll down their window. I'm like, okay, hello. What do you want? <laughs> he, simply, the guy asked me so nice. Hey, do you know where the nearest chicken licking is? Oh my! <laughs> <laughs> and I was Riddle like, I was like, oh yeah, it's just, it's just it's that crest there in the mall. That's probably the nearest one. He's like, alright, thank you so much. He turns around there. I wait five minutes for my friend to come back. <laughs> I don't blame him, though. I don't blame no, him. No, seriously, I don't blame him. I don't blame him. <laughs> don't blame him. <laughs> He's not wrong. He's not wrong. No, he, it, it, like, it, was a, it was a bit of a sketchy situation. It turned up corny. He's like, oh, you're still here. <laughs> <laughs> no, right. Such a nice experience. What about you? What, what reminds you of Lesotho? The music. Ooh. The music and the food. <laughs> The food is just amazing. Oh. It's the best. What, 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 what food? I remember Papa and Chakalaka. Papa I remember and Chakalaka. rye walls oh. on rye the walls. side. Bore with bore like, I used oh. to be one of the people behind the brides there, like flipping the meat, the poor of voice. Yeah. 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 Preparing the Chakalaka <laughs> with yeah. the coke. I wasn't a Chakalaka, but I, I was no, the bride. I was a, I was a f- I'm a Chakalaka How about fan. Jake? Yeah. The what? I haven't Jake heard that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe, I'm, maybe I'm pronouncing it wrong, but like it's like... Um, steamed bread. Oh, Ooh. we call it makabe kwa. No, hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. guys, I just call it toasted bread. I call it toasted bread. It's bread. It's, it's, it's bread. bread. It's bread. But it's like, also it's the best. It's oh. so good and it's Fresh. so heavy. Like you just take a small bite and then you're like, I'm halfway there. Uh, <laughs> is, is it is there garlic inside? Is it garlic bread? No, no it's like the steamed bread. Okay, then yeah, yeah then probably not. It's so good. Yeah, yeah. Big yeah. ups to. Everyone who has ever made me steamed bread, I love you, people. Big ups to the people who made the Purvos hot dogs, you yeah. know, at events. Like you, you Yo. go from, like to one of those runs, those ten ks. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so um, before we wrap up, I'd like to ask you a couple of like just two questions, right? And you have to be very sincere with me. Okay. Right. So um, after your studies, a would you go back to South Africa? Mm. B. No, they are not options. Like, you have to... <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, okay, okay, yeah. okay. I was like, okay. A, who would you go back to South Africa? And then the B part of the first question. Mm. Do you think you would make it in Ghana uh-huh. if you should stay? Okay. You oh, for me? Yeah. I mean, I love Ghana and all. Right. I really do. Right. But... Going to South Africa back with, I just want to go there for like a few months or so, right. just like go and come, go and come, like right. that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I do think I would make it here. Why? There's so much opportunities here. This is like one of the reasons why I came here because there are like more opportunities. It's so diverse. You mm. can get a lot out of Ghana. Right. Yes. So yeah, I would. Definitely. Mm-hmm. So I think what you're saying is now very important because if you say that there are so many opportunities here, you know, there are a lot of young Ghanaians who want to leave and they don't see those opportunities. <laughs> yeah. So if you say that there are so many opportunities here, what kind of opportunities do you see? More job opportunities for the youth, I've realized. Wow. Because back home, you know. Oh, I, I know, I know. <laughs> you I know, know. I know. You I know. know. I know. Yes, it's m- back home, you know, it's you go to school, you graduate. You don't get a job immediately. And then even if you do get a job, it's like after a lot of years and like that job is your dead end. You have nothing else to do. True. Like you're just in that job from nine to five every day, like going back and forth till you die. Mm. There's not a lot of 
spice yeah. in the in the whole, <laughs> you know. And I feel like Ghana has that. The spice. The spice. It's just it's better in terms of opportunities. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is it maybe because also you know South Africa is a well organized country, especially if you compare it to Ghana. South Africa well organized, so al- already the structures are there. The businesses are there. Uh, the brands have been, you know, competing mm-hmm. with each other. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. But here in Ghana, it's still like a developing place. Yes, yes. yes. So and you can you can grow within. That's yeah, why yeah. there's opportunity. There's yeah, exactly. Like if I want to start a business right now, yeah. at it the would, it I would could just you know exactly. just call the registrar general's office, <laughs> <laughs> register yeah. your business, yes. and then yes. go. You're good to go. Even back home, also the economy yeah. is just flip flopping. Yeah. So. Mm-mm. Okay. Yeah. Mahaba? For me, um, no, I wouldn't be going back. I'd be staying and I I know I can make it here. One of the reasons I say that is because um this is gonna sound like a blow to Ghanaian people, but I, I wanna say just to, to voice it out there, I noticed one thing um about the people here is that the mindset isn't very positive. True. You know. So a lot of the time most of the conversations I have with the people is either complaining about the politics or and this is like one thing that has come out of almost all of their mouths is that there's no jobs. And I'm a strong believer in you speak what you create. True. Do you understand? So the fact that they are continuously saying there's no jobs, there's no jobs, that means these people are the ones not having the jobs. Do you understand? Right. There's opportunities wherever you find opportunities yeah. to be. You can make opportunities. Do you understand? Right. Do you understand? Don't let, <laughs> don't, let the country, don't let the country make who you are, you know? Because... Look at the rich people in the country. Uh, did they not get any jobs? Do you understand? The yeah, rich people—they have the are time of their life. Like yeah, yeah. they were really rich. Like yeah. when you say Ghanaian richness, and they well, like billionaires. Yes, and, all, and you, all you hear about is how much they've traveled out but never left. Do you understand? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. They are here because they're away. So I want. I just want to like all your name people. Lift yourself above your average potential. All right. Okay. Speak words of truth and creation. Do you understand? You make right. your future. You speak your future. So just. No, remain more positive. Be more positive in your words. Stop saying that there are no jobs. Say that they there are. are too many jobs. Yeah. All right. Just haven't Wise discovered words. them. Yes, exactly. Just so yeah. So for me, them. I just know that <laughs> there will be jobs. <laughs> 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 there, will. there will definitely be jobs. Wise words from Mr. Gandalf the Mahatma, <laughs> <laughs> Mahatma Gandhi. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Miss Elizabeth, would you be going back if? Like you feel like you're going back where to South Africa or to oh, um, um, to so Holland? Okay, to Holland, let's say or Suriname, <laughs> or Suriname, yeah, or Nigeria, since you have some Nigerian mm-hmm. tree. Like, mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. so let's Nigerian just say, blood where blood would you go if you had to go yeah. to India? <laughs> exactly, <laughs> I want to travel a lot more, so I want to go and come, but okay. I do want to settle in Ghana. Beautiful, um, I found I found my sweetheart here. So I want to Aww. raise my family here. Big up Ghana. Story, story for another time. <laughs> <laughs> story for I another want, time. <laughs> I want my children to be born in the in the belly of, of Mother Earth of, of Mother Africa. Aww. So that that's how I see it. Because right. you know, that's that's something that I n- didn't experience. I was born in a very cold climate, in a right. very cold society, and right. always treated as an outsider. Right. So I want, yeah, I, I, I want my, I want to give my children uh, a different experience and and really continue, you know, the s- the the chronicles of our family in Africa. Yeah. Wow. So I'm the first from my family who actually went back, as in back. You took high know. five. Yeah. yeah <laughs> thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I want to be a godfather. <laughs> <laughs> I have to be rich, though. <laughs> you are already rich. <laughs> Amen. Yes. Words speak it, <laughs> speak it into existence. Amen. Amen. With me, I don't think I'll be going back permanently to live. Yes, just it's visiting. Nice Same. I would like to visit, guys. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's nice. It's so nice. It's yeah. very nice. It's nice. Go the spend the your money there. Yeah, yeah. but it's then just come live. The vibe. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. So, uh, I, do I think I'll make it in Ghana? Heck, I'm already making it to hey, Ghana. Ba- oh, let's go. Jesus yes. name, Amen. Amen. <laughs> let's go. So, um, yeah. As you said, there are so many opportunities. You just yeah. have to know where to look mm-hmm. and then how to seize those opportunities. Because mm-hmm. I feel like the, the, the opportunities that have passed me by in recent years is as a result of me, like, blatantly ignoring them. Mm, feeding into that mindset. Exactly. Because mm. I remember 
when I started some when I came to Central some time ago, um I kept telling myself, Ah, the schooling system. Central is a good school. Everyone says it, yeah. But then the schooling system is this, is mm-hmm, that, is mm-hmm, that. Mm-hmm. And I I was like I, I sat back now that I'm here and I'm like, Joseph, you say the school is this and that and that. Mm-hmm. But so many people have gone through and then finished why can't you then i started to look at every other thing in my life including opportunities the same way this guy saw an opportunity and mm-hmm. and photography mm-hmm. yeah and he seized it so then i was like okay we're going and it's been good so you far see? it's been very good so far you yeah. can make it anywhere. You can mm-hmm. you can mm-hmm. make it anywhere. One thing I always say, if I survived in South Africa, you I can survive anywhere. Anywhere. <laughs> anywhere. Anyway. 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 Anyways, Miss Elizabeth, any other things you would want to add? Um uh oh okay. <laughs> yeah, a lot. Uh but uh uh anything I want to add. Yeah, while you were talking, I wanted to say that uh, young people think they they think in terms of can I make it here? Can I make it there? Can I make it here? That's that's how they look at a society. That's how they look at a country. But what I've learned uh, through you know going through my life and you know also looking for the right opportunities and trying to work on my career, I realized that if you f- realize that your life has a purpose, that you were born for a reason ask the Holy Spirit to guide you in there. Ask the Holy Spirit to, to show you the path where, where you need to go in order to fulfill your life purpose. Right. And I believe that every person who, who was born has a life purpose. So that means that every person is supposed to be somewhere. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, when I actually met my sweethearts here in Ghana, that's when I realized that, wow, uh, this is where God wants me to be. When I became a newborn Christian, that happened two years after I arrived in Ghana. I realized, wow, this is where God wants me to be. Mm. So it's more of where does the? I think the question should be more about where does God want me to be? Where can I fulfill my life purpose? And less about uh, finding the best society with the best opportunities. Mm. Because it's also the connection between you and the society, between you and the people. Right. I mean, you may succeed in South Africa, but I wouldn't succeed in South Africa because mm-hmm. it's not my life purpose to, okay. to do something okay. there. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really about listening to your own, own heart and where, where, where does the Holy Spirit speak to you? Where does the Holy Spirit want you to be? So that's, wha- that's what I strongly believe. I yeah. Agree, man. I agree. Okay. <laughs> it's, something, it's something we spoke about on my podcast in the very beginning, how everybody has a purpose because creation is purposeful. There's nothing that was made right. without a purpose. Without yeah, a mm-hmm. the good and the bad thing. Yeah. So, uh, I think when we had our first conversation, when we first met as well, we spoke about how different Christian life, and that's the last thing okay. we're talking about, then we wrap up. So uh, we spoke about how Christian life in Ghana is so different from Christian back life. Home, mm-hmm. Yeah, back in SA. Because you'd see Priscilla said you'd see a lot of Ghanaian youth. Like keyword youth. youth. Our age. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of like actually praying and then like wh- speaking like in tongues, like you speak in tongues, <laughs> yeah. Like what's wrong with me? <laughs> <laughs> like you see people go off and then like the wor- the, the not the worst part. Like the most exciting part of it is where they let go of themselves mm-hmm. and start to look stupid to other people, but they know the experience they are having with Christ. Exactly, exactly. So, um, I, I that that's that's just that's this. one of the great things about Ghana. Yeah, just. The Christianity is just amazing. It makes you feel whole. Right. You know, when you when you find purpose and yeah. you're like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Exactly. And you know it and you f- like feel it. And like you're supposed to walk on this path. Right. And it just feels right walking in that path. You know? Right. I do. Yeah. Just feels great. Ghana. Ghana. Your beloved Ghana. <laughs> <laughs> Deeply rooted in God. <laughs> you know? Anyways. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. 
Prinsela, thank you, Mahaba, thank you, Miss Elizabeth. Chona Mayo! Chona Mayo! Anyways, <laughs> I got it right the second time, didn't I? No. Yeah. <laughs> close, close. No, Anyways, me bruise and me bras, we hope with our conversation, we have brought light to the misconceptions about SA. Remember, we are one people, one continent under God. Let's be great together and build Africa to be the superpower it was meant to be. This once again is Brother Zo with the Joseph Barker. Join us on Telegram at Central Life Radio. Thank you for tuning in. Amandla. Amandla. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. So. Thank Thank you. Life Campus Radio. Central Life. Your voice. My voice. Our, Our voice. voice.